put me out there. Because I'm going to be doing videos every week. I'm giving you all types of pumpkin glove seeds, honey. Show me some love. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hey. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, 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 hey. Hit that subscribe button. Hello, everyone. My name is Christina. And welcome to my channel. First and foremost, I'd like to give a shout out to someone. Someone that just made me feel so special and appreciated today. And that's you. Like, thank you for taking the time out to click on this video. All jokes aside, like I really appreciate you taking the time out to, to just see what I'm about. Like it means so much to me. Honestly, truly, honestly. My mama gonna kill me, y'all. My parents are pastors of a church, and they didn't play when it came to the Halloween stuff. There was no trick or treating. There was no dressing up. We weren't even allowed to watch Harry Potter. What? You know, this is in no way, shape, or form a reflection of my religion because my relationship with my Lord Savior is solid, okay? I love God. But, you know, I just wanted to do something different to express my creativity and show my artistry since this is my first YouTube video. So, um, if you want to see me go from this to this, keep watching. Okay, so... First step, ladies, prime. Always prime your face. You know, you're digging and picking away at it and it's best to protect it as much as possible. So I always prime, even if I'm just doing brows. Slip the head back, girl, because it's getting ready to get real. Time to make my eyebrows disappear. I was excited for this part. I always see drag queens and other makeup artists doing it, so I'm actually excited to have a chance to actually get it done. Another layer, I did about three layers, just to make sure that they go away. Next, setting. I set my face with air spun powder, like extra translucent, extra coverage to ensure that I got my base as, um, took out as much color as possible, if that makes sense. So I just packed away. <laughs> I was laughing at myself because I looked crazy without eyebrows. And then the ratchetry begins. I'm so ratchet, y'all. Please excuse me. I told you my mama, she gonna kill me. Time to paint. Now we're painting again. Um, I don't swipe. I pat to try make sure it gets as opaque as possible. So I just keep packing and just keep packing until it gets to the thickness that I want. Just keep doing it. I'm trying to be careful with my hair on it. And it got pretty opaque, but I didn't like the color, so I um, it wasn't orange enough for me. So I grabbed my BH Cosmetic palette and I just started to make myself look more orange, as you can see. And again, I'm using packing motions, not swipe. No swiping. Swiper, no swiping. We pack on, not swipe. <laughs> now I wanted to start to draw my lines. And I didn't really want them to be super, like, organized. I wanted them to kind of be messy and like, all over the place because I didn't want to look like a basketball. So I just started to draw lines down my face and I followed the contours. The natural lines and contours on my face. So yeah, I just kept playing away. And like I said, I wasn't looking for it to be perfectly symmetrical. I just wanted it to create that illusion that it's a pumpkin. And y'all, this liner is brown liner I bought at the dollar store. I wasn't even using my good liner for this because I didn't want, um, I didn't know how it was going to affect, you know, the brush. So I just bought something cheap. Now I'm going back in my BH Cosmetic palette and I'm taking brown and just blending out that harsh line so it won't look so harsh. And again, I'm not swiping ladies, I'm patting. down my neck I 
what is this fire engine? So again, I'm going down my neck. My ratchet tree continues. So ratchet. Now I'm contouring my nose to bring some depth back into my face since I took it all away. Contour, contour. Again, I took um, a deeper orange color to do my contour because I didn't want it to be too, too harsh. And then here I just took some yellow, I mean, yeah, not yellow, gold powder and I just started to highlight. My objective was to make her look spooky, but also pretty. I wanted her to be glam. This, I took my NYX eyeshadow base and I packed it around my eyes. I didn't put the, the face paint too much on my eyes because I didn't want it to stain too much. Then I took a black eyeliner that I bought from the dollar store, okay, Dollar Tree. And I started to make my eyebrows while I was letting my eyeshadow base dry. I wanted them to be straight. I didn't want them to be pretty. I just wanted them to be jagged and crazy looking. So there's no arch per se. They just go straight up. <laughs> now the other side. Putting them in. Now back with some more eyeshadow base to thicken it up to create my base for my eyeshadow. And I blended it up into um, my mid crease. And then I went in with purple in my BH Cosmetic. And then I took my Morphe palette, 35V. <laughs> and once I blended that out, I added that into my inner crease to make the colors pop more and to give it a more metallic finish. So I just kept blending away. Then I went in with my black, honey. Cause I wanted this to be like a purple smoky eye. So, you know, pumpkins have quote unquote black eyes. So I wanted it to be that black fading into the purple gradient type of thing. Then I took some more face paint and just cleaned the corners a little bit so it won't be so messy. And then I took a goldish, like twinkly color and put it in my inner corner, child. I always got an inner corner highlight, honey. That's me. Wing liner! I wanted a very dramatic, extreme wing liner. So I took it to the outer corners of my face and then the inner tear duct to create that cat eye look. Touched up my brows a little bit, just took the face paint and cleaned it up to make it look more precise. Then I started drawing my nose. I started out with a small triangle and then built my way up. See? This is black paint, face paint by the way. going over it until I got it to look the way I wanted it to. Took my black eyeliner, eyeliner again and dragged the point up higher to give it a more um, grungy effect. I didn't want it to be precise as I said. Lashes. The lashes I used are some lashes I got from the dollar store, honey. They were just big and dramatic. I would never wear these outside of a makeup look like this because I don't like lashes like that for me but they were perfect for this look so dollar store it's your best friend then a black liner I got from the dollar store started to fill in my lips I am a girl that has to um, line her lips before she puts on any lipstick because my top lip is relatively flat it's thick but it's not it doesn't protrude so I always have to line my lips This lipstick is actually from Wet n Wild. I didn't get this from Dollar Store, I got this from Walmart. But I actually really like it. I might find a way to wear this in another um, look. And I just filled it in. 
as you can see it kind of gave like a metallic -y finish and then I took that and extended it out because I wanted it to be kind of um, I wanted my mouth to be wider so I widened the corners as you can see made my mouth even bigger than what it already is honey because I got a big mouth I really like this lipstick. Isn't it pretty? Now, comes the fun part. I took liquid latex that I got from um, the Spirit Halloween store. It was only like three bucks. And I just started to create this dripping effect. I took a um, makeup brush, an old one, and dipped it in the liquid latex and created this dripping look. You get very messy with this, by the way. So, this shirt is old, so I wasn't really tripping. So I just, you know, kept playing with it until I got it to look the way I wanted to. Um, and I took a blow dryer to it to speed it up the drying process. Just make sure you put it on cool setting and not hot. Then I went back in with a brown and filled it in to add some dimension. And then I also took some foundation and filled it in to make it look like my skin. Then I added some more detail to kind of make it look like my skin was kind of peeling. And that the pumpkin queen was unraveling. Then I started to put um, individual lashes on my bottom lash line to create more of a dramatic look. I needed some more drama once I started to put it all together. And that's it. <laughs> I'm giving you all types of pumpkin gloves, honey. Oh, look at my. I think it's mine. Like these joints fit. Hey, girls. <laughs> all right, now you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell off this video. <laughs> if you like what you saw, like. Comment, subscribe, shout your girl out, you know, put me out there. Because I'm going to be doing videos every week. I know y'all want to see this face. Well, I hope y'all want to see this face. So, yeah, just, you know, if you you like it, show me some love. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, hey. hit that subscribe button. Hey, 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 hey. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, 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 hey. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. You see it, it's right there.